Having to come here and actually not be eligible to vote on anything, uh, it's a little frustrating. Uh, but uh, then again, I guess that's the way it is. Today, several people came to the polls thinking they live in the city of West Lafayette, only to find out that's not exactly the case. How they draw districts and boundaries is crazy nuts. <laughs> and they're not straight lines and they, are, they have little exclusion areas that they take out of it. So that's, so that's been an interesting thing today that I've not run into as nearly as much in the past. Supervisor of the Purdue Memorial Union Vote Center, Liz Roush, says many registered voters came out today only to be turned away because where they live is just outside of city limits. Much of this confusion still brought on following the annexation of Purdue University. My early ones this morning, the first one that it popped up on when I called, he was three blocks from the boundary. He was three blocks too far from the boundary where he was at. So that precinct that he lived in was split. When the city annexed Purdue, several apartment complexes agreed to be part of the process, but not all. So people in those areas are considered county residents. Purdue professor Christian Butsky lives just five miles outside of Purdue's campus, and he finds the fact that he can't participate in municipal elections disappointing. Living in, in Tippecanoe County, I, I think, and having been a resident for, what, 15 years or so, I would like to you know, have more of a say of what is going on in the cities. Um, I'd uh, like to have more of a say of what is going on in, in, in my neighborhood. To find out where you lie in the city boundaries and what city council member represents you, you can go on to www.tippecanoein.gov for a full map. In West Lafayette, Nina Slosberg, Star City News.